My name is Jason Feldman, and I have some marketing on a budget tips, cost-effective strategies for your agency to dominate. Insurance dudes are on a mission to escape being handcuffed by our agencies. How? By uncovering the secrets to creating a predictable, consistent, and profitable agency sales machine. I am Craig Pretzinger. I am Jason Feldman. We are agents. We are insurance dudes. All right, here we go. Buy leads. So I, I, let me go back here. I'm going to talk about four ways to dominate in your agency. So we're going to start on the front end of this. We're going to go through the whole client journey here. Number one, buy leads consistently. What do you mean? I thought you said cost effective. Yes. Okay. I said something in there that maybe you didn't catch. And that's consistently, consistently buy leads. I don't care if it's four leads a day. It's better to buy four leads a day okay, than it is 21 day a week. Let me say that again. It's better to buy four leads a day better than 20 on one day. Why is that? Well, because we want to see how the entire machine works in your agency. We want to create consistency so that we can create templates so we can create a machine in your agency that consistently sells. But we don't know the numbers when we're buying leads and, and, and then we turn them off and then we switch this and then we have somebody, you know, somebody calls for an hour a day and then the next day they call for three hours a day. How do you know where the bottleneck is in your agency if you're doing all kinds of wacky things? Do things consistently, build a machine. So even with leads, if you're going to buy them, buy them in small quantity, I don't care, but consistently, all right? Number two is increase the conversions of those leads. Okay, let's say we're buying four a day. Well, what can we do to increase the conversions? Of course we want to increase conversions, right? Well, I don't care. If you have TMs, you don't have TMs, you're calling them, you're emailing them. If, well, if you're not calling them and email, I don't know. Just whatever you're doing, increase that activity, okay? increase the activity on the front end. And when we do it, we're going to do whatever it is. Let's say it's a, a text message, an email, a phone call conversation, any of those scripts. Have a script down that's consistently that we're saying so that we know that, hey, every time we get to this part in the script, it falls apart. Awesome. Now we know this part sucks. Kick it out. And we know every time we say this, that we get a better response. Okay, keep that. Add something new in. And it's, it's like this, um, it's like we're building a car, right? From scratch, we're putting all, on all these pieces. We have 350 pieces. All, all of a sudden we got everything going on, the hubcaps, the wheels, and then we turn it on. We start to drive it down the street. This thing is a jalopy. We're like, we're all, we're all over the road, right? Because everything's just, but, but then we slowly start, start really tightening the screws, tightening everything. And all of a sudden we're driving smooth over time, right? So that's the, that's the idea behind this. We want to do something that we can create consistency that we can slowly tweak and get better and follow up, just follow up. No one ever follows up enough on leads. I don't know how, how to say that anymore, but just keep following up on your leads. You bought them, right? Like in everything that everybody tells you in the agency, oh, I followed up six times. You better inspect that because I guarantee you that six times was like three times, but oh, I, I thought I did six times, right? That's the conversation. That's what's actually happening. <laughs> All right. Number three, sell more policies on the back end. Well, what do you mean the back end? Well, let's say, you know, we're doing a, uh, we're buying a few leads and we're converting them and the cost per sale is like $100 cost per sale, right? Well, let's say the average person gets one policy and it's for $1,000 or let's say 1.5 policies at $1,000, right? So, you're thinking that it costs $100 for a $1,000 policy. Well, how can we increase that? We already have that person. That 100 bucks is set in stone, right? That is how much it costs us to get that lead. Now, when we're let's do an onboarding call. Maybe we missed something. Maybe the salesperson missed something. Maybe you can offer them. Remember offer? Offer them something more, an additional policy to help. And do this in the onboarding. And it's empathetic, dude, it's the way to do it. Like, like look at your client journey. Are there any spots within that client journey that we can help them more? One is the onboarding. And then another one is reviews. So if we're doing those things regularly, you might actually be able to add another policy, 
maybe it's a an extra thousand dollars per client that you're getting that's a, already in your agency. They're going to stay longer. You're selling them more. They're actually worth more to you. Now you can actually spend more to acquire customers or clients. We don't talk, we don't call them customers. And then number four is retain clients. How do we do it? By everything that we've been talking about, retain clients by actually following up with them. Beat them to the punch. They're going to have problems. There's going to be issues in the agency. Don't let your agents run away from those problems. Attack them head on. I'll tell you one thing. Let's just say your client, Sally, has an issue, right? If you actually called her and said, hey, I think you have this issue. Don't worry. I'm, I'm following up on it. She's going to say, oh, wow, thank you. I just noticed that. And I was going to call you, but thank you so much, right? Now, if Sally calls into your agency, even if you're working on it, and, and she, she's going to call up all pissed. Oh, I have this problem. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to, I was already looking at it for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You were looking at it. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, right. You knew that. If you did, you would call her. That's what she's thinking. So, dude, you want good retention? Follow up with your clients. It's basic stuff, but just f- have a process in your agency to actually do these things. And it goes back to those KPIs. How many outbound calls are your agents doing, your service agents? Like, th- have that number and have them do that. It's easy. It's basic. It's just something that we need to do consistently. It will definitely help with keeping that your marketing budget at a cost effective way. Some of these strategies will dominate for you. If you do all these, your value per client will be astronomical. I promise you. I promise you. Just spend some time. Spend some time. Develop a system within your agency and then just follow the KPIs. It's much easier to do that than to yell at everybody. Trust me. (laughs) I'm Jason Feldman. That's my book.